now ladies you can see I have used one single brush with pytho green and gone around all of the motifs you will see here on a couple I have just given a little extra indication of what I might do and because I'm using yellow and white I'm going to finish off this basket so I will keep that near so that I can also work on it because all of the th same things are being used yellow, white, pytho green and varnish or Mod Podge now you could set it up like this ladies and that way you keep the flowers which are similar together and you go faster and you use the rag for your paints so now ladies I'm set up to go through and do details across all of them make sure you give yourself quite a few short brushes are the easiest to work with for this kind of craft and a couple of these to carry the paint all right ladies now you can see that it's progressed around what that does is it gives you the highlights and you can go back now and put in more detail afterwards and here's the glass of milk I want to show you the consistency you need at this stage of the Mod Podge to build up your varnishing and you will see that it looks exactly like milk and even the same consistency so very dangerous to leave it around with children to show you exactly the consistency and look of milk is what you need right now this is how you would be breaking it all down in your workplace and my assistant is getting ready to help me now I'm going to show you something that I'm doing progressively which I haven't done before so in the first round of varnishing with the milk I've actually added number four glitter just a quick word of warning you see how here I have missed doing the little stamen and also here I have also missed doing the little stamen when I was doing that that sort of thing will always happen but never do it when you're doing a major job like this you always wait until you go through after everything is dry and I would never do something like that in a major operation like this which I can do very quickly you see only one side at a time and I really only want sparkle I don't want a whole pile of glitter on it most of that will fall off now ladies you can see I've had a bit of a clean up and my assistant is having afternoon kip having just completed lunch kip but to show you that I've also had a few minutes and so I started with the orange so overnight I may do some more with the glitter and I should have said before 
you don't want to paint on sand so make sure you use a clean dry rag to brush off the sand after you've washed it and then paint and now I need a really good cleanup it's getting messy around here and my assistant has finished her lunch ladies I'm going to finish for the day you can see that I've done a few flowers very quickly to start through the process